Everybody, welcome Bill. He wants to tell you a little something about tricks. Hey, Bill. Um, do you guys uh, find find a lot of good acorns today? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot with bugs in them? Not too many. There's a good bit though. Yeah. We've, uh, it's one of the reasons why why we burn for the acorn is is to reduce the inf infestations. Um, that make them inedible, not not only for us people, but but for wildlife. Um, you know, some of the birds like to eat the bugs, but but the deer and elk and, and other critters out there prefer the nice, good, meaty acorns with without a, without a lot of bugs in them. And so, so um, you know, a long time ago, these these tan oak stands were managed uh, frequently at a, at a pretty large scale um, with fire and and. Um, Part of that process was was to was to burn underneath of these trees and and um, scorch scorch the the buggy acorns before before they could leave the acorn and go burrow into the ground. So then they can hatch out the next year or so and, and fly up into the trees and and infest the next year's um, harvest. So um, you know a lot of times. Um, these tan oak stands are in kind of a moisture environment, and so it's it's you know if you're burning every few years in these stands, um, it it can be hard to get fire to carry uh, across and and burn a lot uh, burn everything um, every piece of the understory um, or the ground fuels, and so. Um, part of that process of gathering the acorns is to se try to separate some of these um, the, the infested acorns out and put them on piles of some of the, the punky and rotting wood. Um, tan oak wood itself it generates a lot of smoke. It's not good for burning in your household because of that. Um, it's a uh, thing, I mean, they, you can burn it in your wood stove now because the smoke doesn't release right in your house so much, but, but, um, but typically it's, um, it's a wood that, that likes to smolder and generate a lot of smoke. And so, um, you know, another thing that, that the acorns do get infested with are um, molds, different kinds of molds when, you, when they get a little too wet before you gather and you, you don't get them dried out fast enough. Um, you can get some some mold growing in them that makes them, you know, kind of funky to eat. But um, you know, smoke is one of those things out there that actually can help to to get rid of the molds. And um, and there's probably a whole bunch of other uh, positive effects that the smoke in the canopy provides to to the trees that we don't quite understand completely um, today. Um, the uh, you know, 